You just place the order. Thank you. Got stuff in that closet. Gotta go. No, I'm not fasting. What made you think that? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, Grill. Oh no, come here. Uno. Chips are bad for a diet. I'm not on a diet, baby. Follow my fitness page to see how I live my life. Mm. At this point, this is a mukbang. Am I dating the baby? I am absolutely not. I have a whole boyfriend. Houston date is May 16th. If you Google B. Simone Houston comedy show, tickets should pop up. Yes, down. Mm. Yes, we just dropped a YouTube video. Go to B Simone. The B Simone on YouTube. He come me big brr. talking about a new man we're about to hit our year anniversary i mean i guess a new a year is new but i feel like i've been with this man for 30 years Y'all, go to the closet. Everything is $10. People are buying it up. Name brand stuff. Fashion Nova stuff. House of CB. Bomb ass shit. T-shirts. Oh no, what is you doing? I hear something weird over there. Mm. Oh 
no. We about to get in the bed and take a nap. So, do only baby puppies nap a lot? Because he be napping a lot with me. I lay him down next to me. He'll fall right to sleep with me. It, check it out. I work out almost every day. Work out. I work out damn near every day. Extra large. Go on the website. Everything is $10. That shit got to get up out of my house. I'm sick of seeing those clothes back there. I love that Uno sleeps all day. He boo boo. And he peed and get in the bed with me and we just sleep. Hey, Crystal. I love you. Eating the um, veggie chipotle ball, girl. Yes. I'm eating chips and guacamole. Chips and guacamole. Mmm. The B stands for Braylon. Braylon Simone. This is one thing y'all have to learn about my personal fitness journey. I say, y'all really need to follow B Simone Fit page because I say a lot of stuff on there that. <laughs> Go ahead, Crystal. Get that shit out of there. It's really some cute shit on there, though. No cap. The link is in my bio. Click the link in my bio. That shit gotta go. Everything is $10. And there's stuff on there that's literally worth $200. House of CB, bomb ass dresses. But. Um. Yeah, my fitness journey, y'all, um, it's not a diet. <laughs> it's not a diet. It is a lifestyle. I'm not going to go every single day dieting and punishing myself. It is okay to have not a cheat meal, a treat meal. Normalize eating what you want, not overeating, not binge eating, not eating bad every single day. It is a journey. <clears throat> The goal isn't to lose 20 pounds in two weeks. No. The goal is to be healthy mentally and the physical will follow after that. This is not a race. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. There is never an end to your fitness and mental health journey. And that is all Be Simone Fit is about. Working out has helped me tremendously mentally. I know back in the day I did all these crash diets. I've tried everything. HGC diet. Literally shooting myself in the stomach every day with needles, trying to lose weight. It's an HGC diet. Um, keto, low carb, this, that. I've tried every diet in the world. My fitness page, Be Simone Fit, is not about dieting. It's not about depriving yourself of things that you like. It's not about um, hurrying up and losing weight. My goal is not to lose weight anymore. Yes. That is one of my goals, but that is not the priority. The priority is to be consistent, have self-discipline, and control my mind and my mental. Once all three of those are executed, the body will follow after. The body will follow after. I done lost 20 pounds in a month before, and guess what? The next month, gained 30. Why? Because I didn't make it a lifestyle. Because I did a crash diet. Because I rushed, and I didn't make it a, a journey. Now... This is a lifestyle change, and it's slow and steady wins the race. There is no end. Once I lose weight and lose 20 pounds, guess what? Maybe I want to get more muscle in my arm. Maybe I want to build my butt a little bigger. Maybe I want to build my legs a little bigger. Fitness journey and mental health is never going to end. There is no end. So stop rushing. I want to lose 20 pounds by summer. I'm not trying to get ready for summer. I'm not trying to get ready for my birthday. I'm not trying to be fine summer 2021. I'm trying to get ready for the rest of my life and break these generational curses now so when I have my children, I can teach them the importance of mental health, the importance of discipline and self-control. So when they need to be healthy, they can do it easier.
Oh, I thought you was eating something. My mental health journey has nothing to do with losing weight. That is going to come after I execute everything else. I literally beat in my workouts, y'all, crying. Not because it's hard, not because it hurts, because it's a mental thing. And I relate my workouts so much to my real life. Literally one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, push, push, push. Go, go, go. I know it burns. Fight through the pain. Fight through the pain. That is life. That is life, y'all. That is literally life. Fight through the pain. If I can get it through, if I can fight through this, I know at the end it'll all be worth it. That's life. That's how you maneuver through problems in life. I relate my workout so much to what I'm going through in my life, to problems and trials that I'm going through in my real life. So when I work out, yes, I be crying, thinking about the, the stress I'm going through in my real life. And you know, it's motivating. You make it through that workout, guess what? You can make it through your problems in life. So I'm just saying, be Simone Fit. Follow that for motivation, fitness journey. My goal isn't to be skinny in a month. My goal isn't to to hurry up and lose 20 pounds in two weeks. My goal isn't to crash diet. My goal is to eat foods I like. My goal is to feed my body healthy foods while still everything is sold out. Sorry, I told y'all. My goal is to be self-disciplined, have self-control, be consistent. And once I execute those things, I can apply that to any part of my life. And once I have consistency, self-control, and discipline, the body will follow. You got to change your mindset first. Go to Be Simone Fit. I work out almost every day. <laughs> I push through that shit. Go to Be Simone Fit Instagram. B S I M O N E Fit F I T. That page is for motivation and it's to show y'all. I don't care how hard you go in the gym. If you're not consistent and you don't change your mindset and your lifestyle, it doesn't matter. I used to I've been trying to get this mindset for over 15 years. I was always taught in the industry, be skinny. You're going to be on TV. You're going to be in a movie. You need to be skinny. You need to fit these clothes. It was never mental health. It was never consistency. It was never discipline. It was just be skinny. Bitch, if you don't eat for two days, you don't eat for two days. No. Oh, I got a movie role coming up. I need to be skinny. What? If you just have a healthy lifestyle, you wouldn't have to hurry up and diet for this movie role. Oh, I'm about to go to uh mexico this summer i need to be skinny for my girls trip if you just had a healthy lifestyle you wouldn't have to hurry up and be skinny for your girls trip it's not about being skinny or being thick or it's about being healthy and it starts with your mental and that is all i am promoting that is all i am promoting on my fitness page be simone fit Be Simone Fit, baby. That page is to motivate you guys mentally, physically. It is geared towards mental health more than it is fitness. I used to be on all these crash diets and I used to take diet pills that would have me nauseous. My heart is pounding and I would lose 10 pounds in a week. And the next week I would binge eat because I was depriving myself of everything that I wanted to eat and the next week I would eat fucking cookies and cake and gain 15 pounds back <laughs> somebody said I'm watching this while eating a cupcake a cupcake is not bad sweetie the problem is people have no self-control and discipline you have a cupcake every every day or you have 12 cupcakes in one sitting i'm not saying you in general but that used to be me who gives a fuck if you have a cupcake once in a while why the fuck are we eating 12 cupcakes in one day 
That's the problem. When you have self-control and discipline, it don't matter what you eat. I don't use a pre-workout. Um, I usually have energy, but I am... Orlando, y'all know I'll be there Sunday. OrlandoImprov.com. Go to the improv. Orlando, Florida. I will be there Sunday. Telling my jokes, telling my truth, talking about the book, talking about the nine to five. Talking about whatever y'all want to talk about. We even going to do Q&A so y'all can talk about whatever. But yeah, y'all, follow Be Simone Fit, man. That's my fitness page. It's my journey. And that page is more about mental health. Read the captions. I pour my heart out and my feelings out in those captions in hopes of not only releasing my stress and telling my truth, but hopefully I'm helping somebody. You ain't the only one that feels the way you feel. It's billions of people in the world. Believe me, there's somebody out there that feels and is going through the exact same thing you're going through. You're not alone on, the, on these, these stress levels and these journeys and these things that you're doing. You're not alone. So that Be Simone Fit page, that's my fitness page. Like I said, it's more about mental health and pushing through life and better tactics to make it through stress levels and fitness. Be Simone Fit. B-S-I-M-O-N-E-F-I-T. So yeah, y'all, check it out. Ooh, I'm about to get off of here, though. But I love y'all. Meet me on Be Simone Fit. I'm going to be going live on there. I'm going to try to go live on there once a week. Um, and I'm going to be going live on um, this weekend, actually, talking about Be Simone Beauty. Yay. Y'all ordered some stuff. Good. I love y'all. Click the link in my bio. Everything in my closet is $10. This shit got to get out of my house because I'm trying to make a beauty room. So I want to clear all that stuff out. $10. House of CB stuff. Fashion Nova stuff. Um, some of that stuff is worth $200, $300. And I put it up there for $10 so I could just clear it out of my house. So good luck, you guys. The 